This is Catholic Daily Reflections for Monday of the first week in Ordinary Time. Today's reflection is entitled, A Time to Repent and Believe. Jesus came to Galilee proclaiming the gospel of God. This is the time of fulfillment. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. We have now completed our Advent and Christmas seasons and begin the liturgical season of ordinary time. Ordinary time must be lived in our lives in both an ordinary and extraordinary way. First of all, we begin this liturgical season with an extraordinary calling from God. In the Gospel passage above, Jesus begins his public ministry by proclaiming that the kingdom of God is at hand. But he then goes on to state that, as a result of the new presence of the kingdom of God, we must repent and believe. It's important to understand that the Incarnation, which we especially celebrated in Advent and Christmas, changed the world forever. Now that God had united himself with human nature in the person of Jesus Christ, God's new kingdom of grace and mercy was at hand. Our world and our lives are changed because of what God did. And as Jesus began his public ministry, he begins to inform us through his preaching of this new reality. The public ministry of Jesus as it is transmitted to us through the inspired word of the Gospels, presents to us the very person of God and the foundation of his new kingdom of grace and mercy. It presents us with the extraordinary calling of holiness of life and an unwavering and radical commitment to follow Christ. Thus, as we begin ordinary time, it's good to be reminded of our duty to immerse ourselves in the message of the gospel and to respond to it without reserve. But this calling to an extraordinary way of life must ultimately become ordinary. In other words, our radical calling to follow Christ must become who we are. We must see the extraordinary as our ordinary duty in life. Reflect today upon the beginning of this new liturgical season. Use it as an opportunity to remind yourself of the importance of daily studying and prayerfully pondering the public ministry of Jesus and all he taught. Recommit yourself to a faithful reading of the gospel so that it becomes an ordinary part of your daily life. Let us pray. My precious Jesus, I thank you for all you have spoken and revealed to us through your public ministry. Strengthen me during this new liturgical season of ordinary time to devote myself to the reading of your holy word so that all you have taught us becomes an ordinary part of my daily life. Jesus, I trust in you.